Hello, the sun is shining, it's a beautiful day and a perfect day for the Wandle Big Cleanup. So I'm here in Ben's Canteen, joined by Adele from Seymour Green, your local estate agent, and Wynne from Mansonism. He supplied all these fabulous sweatshirts that we're all going to be wearing today, and the, the tote bags as well. Now, Ben's Canteen has supplied us with coffee, and they're also going to supply us with some great bacon rolls a little bit later on. But for now, we better get to the big cleanup. We can't start without us. tipping is a big problem and we know that this is a particular bad spot. If rubbish is thrown on the side of the bank then it's the landowner's responsibility to get rid of it. If it's thrown in the river then there's a legal loophole that means that it's nobody's problem. Last year they removed 8.5 tonnes of rubbish from the Wandle and last time we were here with uh, Adele in April we pulled out nine mopeds from this stretch so that just shows what a bad area this is. One team I'd like to be the more experienced waders who have done a lot of wading because the river this way is very silty and difficult to wade and um, but that's where we might find the motorbikes. The river this way is a lot shallower and easier to wade. So if it's your first time, I would suggest going that way, but staying together in a group because it's still faster flowing than it looks. Oh, my God. <laughs> so glad I did my hair today. Ready for action. <laughs> Long legs have come in handy for one. So today we're doing one of our most popular events, which is the River Cleanup. So they've been running now for 10 years. They happen every second Sunday of the month and volunteers come down, get in the river and pull out all the big rubbish that's there and also the smaller rubbish. And then the council take it away for free and it's sort of like a community way of raising awareness of problems of fly tipping in the river. Last time we were here in April, we pulled out nine mopeds um, from this same stretch of river. It was crazy because we get trolleys all of the time. That's quite a normal one. Um, a lot of safes that have been blown up from the back, so it's always always exciting <laughs> on the river. The Wandle actually was declared biologically dead in the 1960s, and people thought it was an open sewer because it was so bad back then. It was polluted by a lot of industry and a lot of like people just using it as a rubbish bin. Um, and that over time has built up in the silt that is what you're walking on. So when you're walking, you're stirring up all of those chemicals and that smell. Um, but since then it is actually a lot cleaner than it was and you'd be surprised what fish can put up with. Today I found something that was quite interesting and it was Woody. Somebody's faithful friend is no more. Yes, yep, we get lots of toys and fun little things like that as well. Well, thank you so much and I've actually right. really enjoyed it. And aren't we lucky with the weather? Yes, yep, great weather. So time now for a cup of tea in the middle of what's been a very exciting morning. I'm here with Team Seymour Green. We've got Harry. Colin, Adele and Caroline. And what got you involved? We live in Wandsworth. Our family, our children uh, go to school here and we get so much out of this. Every time I walk past the river, I see it flowing clean and fresh and I think, well, I'm part of that. It's really great to see that from one person getting involved, the spiral effect yes. of so many other people getting yep. involved. We've got Ben's Canteen um, down here donating 40 bacon butters. We had Bean and Hop doing some refreshments as well. We've been tweeting all week. Um, and also I was on the radio on Thursday night, once with radio, who are supported by volunteers. Um, and, um, and sort of plugging it on there, and just talking about the one trust as well. So, we, you know, it's not just sort of rocking up on the day. It's, there's a bit more to it, which, which has been going on behind the scenes for quite some time. Um, we've involved South West London TV. If you don't mind me ask, asking where you got your very, oh, very yes. lovely sweatshirt Oh, from. yes. Well, look. look, look. <laughs> and also this time we've got um, Wynn from Mansonism. He's around somewhere. In fact, he's in the river wading as well. But he's produced these lovely organic tops. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. If you'd like to find out more, then please take a look at the links below. I'm Denise Waterman, and you've been watching South West London Television. Thank you.